Okay, a related rates problem. So in this one, we have a border of a town is roughly circular, and the radius of the circle has been increasing at a rate of 0.1 miles each year. Our goal is to figure out how fast the area of this town has been increasing when the radius is 5 miles. All right, so we want to connect together somehow the area of a town and its radius. And this is a circle, as they point out. So one thing we're going to need is the area formula for a circle. So that's given by pi r squared would be the radius of a circle. Okay, from here, let's identify the information that we know. So they tell us the radius of the circle has been increasing, so it'll be positive at a rate of 0.1 miles each year. So what that is, is that's the derivative of r with respect to time, t. So dr dt and it's going to be positive, 0.1, and they tell us it's in miles per year. All right, what other information is given to us? Sometimes it takes reading through this a couple times to pick out all the given information, but in this case, they do tell us the radius of the town is going to be 5 miles. And what we're looking for is how quickly the area is increasing. So we're looking for the change in the area with respect to time. So a lot of times just listing out at the beginning, reading through a couple times, listing out everything you know, and then finding the formula that connects together the two things that you are given, right? A radius and an area in our case. So what we're going to do is take the derivative of this area formula with respect to time. So on the left hand side, the derivative of a is going to be 1, but we need a dA dt. On the right hand side I'm going to go ahead and bring the pi along, it's just a constant, and we'll take the derivative of r squared, well the 2 can come down in front, and we'll reduce that exponent by 1, using the power rule for derivatives, but this time our variable was r, so what we want to put next to this is dr dt. Alright, the rest of it really is just filling in the given information. All right, as you'll notice from over on the left hand side, we can say, well, we're looking for dA dt. So don't rearrange it. Let's leave that on left hand side all by itself. We have the 2, the pi. In for r, we can replace that with 5 miles. And in for the dr dt, we can put 0 0.1. All right, doing a little bit of simplifying down here. That's the same thing as 10 pi times 1 tenth. So 10 times 1 tenth is just going to give us pi as our rate, which feels like a weird rate, but that's okay. Then if we're going to think about units on this, we had 5 miles, and then 0.1 miles per year. So if we included those um, units, we would multiply the numerators together and get miles times miles, or miles squared, per year. Alright, so we're increasing by approximately 3.14 miles squared per year. Alright, hope this helps out as you're working on related rates problems. Just pick out the formula that connects the two variables we're told about together, um, and then take the derivative with respect to time on each side, and be careful to include like the dr dt in this case. Hope this helps. Good luck.